Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Very excited for today's beer. It's Chris, my man Chris. Thank you so much, Chris. Really appreciate that. Chris, subscribe to my channel. You should too. If you haven't, please consider subscribing. Hit that notification bell below. Uh, anyway, yeah, really appreciate this. Chris sent me off a box. I did a boxing on video, unboxing video uh, on that. And uh, one of the beers I sent was a Crowler. And my wife said she would love to split a beer with me. So I went with a big beer. Um, this is from Missing Mountain Brewing Company. Really like the simplicity, but also like, oh, it just looks rad. And he, he was showing me a picture where he got some swag from them. And it is definitely like a cool logo and everything. Um, so I dig that. It's uh, called Regal AF. And the cool kids know what AF stands for. Uh, it's 8%. It's 32 ounce crowler. It was filled uh, September 15th. Today is the uh, 27th of September. Yeah, 27th. Um, so it's less than two weeks old. And I'm yeah, really excited to get into it. Cleaned off the top already. Any dust or anything that might have been on there. So let's get into that. LA filled that up nice. Good, good. Bodes well for the beer. Ah. Uh, I'm losing some. Must save every precious ounce. All right, well, I will need to clean that up off camera. Anyway, da, da, da. typical dirty glassware. Yeah, that's hazy. That You know, I tell you what, though, that is a beautiful yellow color, and I haven't seen, uh, there's still some dirt, whatever, um, that light of an orange, or a, like a yellow, super light orange in the middle, but like it is such a vibrant light yellow and i haven't seen that hue in a while the head is barely off white i mean it's it's it definitely has that cloudy hazy appearance but it's not like that super murky turkey gravy kind of a thing butternut squash soup you know as some people say um yeah beautiful color i love that yellow um see about the aroma I'm having a hard time picking out specific fruit, but it definitely smells like a very ripe fruit salad. Um, there's some citrus in there. There's a little bit of tropical, but then there is definitely just like, like overall like generic ripe fruit. And again, that sweetness is definitely there. I don't know what hops or anything are in here, or hop maybe single hop actually. I don't know. Maybe some mango. Now I'm getting a little bit more, it's still some of that citrus, but I'm getting more of the tropical, the mango, a little bit pineapple. It's, I keep using like little or tiny amount. Um, it's not bursting again with specific stuff. It smells really good. And again, I'll say it for, I think the third time, definitely ripe fruit. 8% I'm thinking they're going for a double IPA. So it's going to have, um, uh, Maybe a little bit more sweetness, uh, you know, hiding the bitterness. Only one way to find out. Cheers, and thanks again, Chris. Well, I was wrong about one thing. There is a nice level of bitterness, and I really appreciate that level. Uh, it's not overdone. Definitely know you're drinking a beer, for sure, in a good way. So it drinks like a... For me, it drinks more like an, uh, an IPA than a double IPA. I don't know what, what they consider. It, do, it doesn't say that what they're going for. Um, but approaching a double, I'll give you that. To me, almost like a transition uh, of a, a one and a half IPA, if you will. Um, but yeah, that bitterness is nice. Um, there is some fruit in the taste like the aroma. But as has been happening in many of these beers I've been drinking of this, you know, hazy New England, New England-esque IPAs, um, the aroma is much sweeter than the taste. So like the, the overly ripe fruit and the aroma is not coming through in the taste, but there is some of that like uh, citrus in the form of mostly orange zest um, without being Overly zesty either, but like, so you get a little bit of the orange juice taste for sure, but there is a, a little zest. I would say it's almost not even like lemon zest, but a little, just a hint of this lemon note. So that's where the citrus skews. It's, it's not blood orange. It's not grapefruit. It is definitely orange. 
a little bit of zest and just a little bit of a lemon squeeze in there as well. Then I'm getting, and I haven't gotten this lately, melon. I'm super curious what the hopper hops are. Um, but I definitely get some melon. Honeydew. But, you know, I, I could say a little cantaloupe, but not overly ripe. And I think typically when I eat those fruits, they're very ripe. That's how I like them. But it's there. The aftertaste is like, uh, my uncle helps a, a local to him brewery, brew some beers. And he did like a, a, a cream ale that was a little hopped up. And the aftertaste kind of reminds me of a cream ale, but that has that hop punch, you know, like a, a bitter uh, IPA or pale ale might uh, have, like almost if you cuvéed the two styles, um, which I actually kind of like that. It's different, which is cool. And, and I've said this in other videos recently, you know, I'm kind of at a point where if a beer is, if I like the taste and the beer is different from stuff I've been drinking lately, like I'm really looking for that. And this definitely hits that, which I appreciate. Um, it looks a little different from a lot of these hazies I've been having, and, and the taste is a little different, while still quite enjoyable. Um, you know, it, it, these are, this beer, I've only had this beer from this brewery, they're not dethroning any of the big names in New England style IPAs, but they have made a very good beer. If this was a local brewery to me, I would definitely go there and buy this beer, gladly. Um, I don't know if, I don't know how long these guys have been around for or anything, um, they're out of Ohio, I could say that. Um, yeah, it doesn't say like how long they've been in business or anything for, but they should be very proud of this beer. This is very delicious. Um, I'm glad I got to try it. Um, I think my wife's really gonna like it too because she likes IPAs and she um, doesn't mind some of that bitterness in there as well, as long as there's some of like that fruit stuff coming through as well. And um, I think this is gonna be kind of hitting her sweet spot as well. But yeah, this is a good beer again, they should be proud. Uh, thanks again for sending it, Chris. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate that. Um, check me out on Instagram on Tapped. It's no hype beer reviews at both those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.